Welcome everybody to another Autodesk Inventor tutorial. My name is Mr. Glindo. Today we're going to be looking at creating a manufacturing assembly. To start with, I've got a finished assembly in front of us. Um, this is a reasonably complex assembly. It has um, multiple views. Uh, within those views, we've got a computer-aided manufacturing one, um, and then ones that have just a view of different parts um, or a view of the finished car. So you could use this for rendering as well. Now, one of the things that I have in this CAM um, view are the fixtures that we use to hold a block of material, one of these, the billets, the stock, into um, the CNC. So what holds it in place when we actually manufacture, we've got a front bit of fixture and a rear bit of fixture. I also have two sketches. I've got a sketch here which has two lines that start in the origin and go out. 32.5 millimeters. That's from the origin point of the hole here to the edge. And then I've got one line going down to the bottom, which is 29 millimeters from the origin hole down. Um, I've also got a boundary um, sketch, which just stops on the back edge there, but goes about four millimeters above and below my vehicle. It also goes to the end of my machining spigot but it doesn't go much past 210. It stops in 210, which is a major rule. You can't go over that. So that's just a sketch on the um, XY plane. So how did I do this? Well, to start with, I'm going to go new. I'm going to create a um, standard assembly file. So standard IAM, create. Now this is within my project, so I can pretty easily just go place and find my vehicle. Um, I've got one that's ready for manufacturing, um, and it's called the Wings Example Manufacture Car. Clicking Open, I'm then going to right-click and place Grounded at Origin, so it's grounded from the get-go, and then right-click OK, because I don't need to place two. Now, I just want to reiterate those two sketches that I've added um, to this vehicle. If you don't have them, you can double-click on the part file in your browser, it'll open this file as a part, you'll notice the assembly section now is grayed out, and you can actually just create these sketches. So you could just start a sketch and go on the XY plane and do them. Okay, I want to go back to the assembly, so I'm going to double click on it, and I'm going to go place, and I'm going to download um, these two files, but I've already got them, the future spigot, oh sorry, the feature spigot, and then place um, the fixture as well. And I'm going to do them just like so. Now, I need to uh, constrain these. Uh, the easiest way I find to constrain them first is by selecting the center of my canister, axi, so that's that one, and then um, the, sorry, you always select the one that's going to move, so I'd actually be selecting the fixture because this is grounded, and uh, that's the center of the fixture, as you can see, and then I'm going to select the center of my axi hull, and you can see it move into place. Clicking Apply. I'm now going to go cancel because I want to actually drag that component out. Now, when you put a constraint in, it allows you then just to click on those components and move them around as long as it doesn't clash with the constraint. So you can see that I can go sideways and it doesn't do anything. It's staying on the two axes. I'm now going to do a constraint and the constraint is going to go between the bottom of my canister hole and the bottom of my fixture. And you can see that. Having been done now, zooming out, double clicking the center mouse button just to uh, reorient it. I'm now going to do a um, offset where I have selected um, the first surface, which is this one on the fixture, and the second surface, which I would like to be the YZ plane. Selecting that, I'm going to offset uh, 200. Um, and I decided on 19 for this. The reason for 219 is it's a little bit further away than the vinyl end of the block. These blocks are 223 millimeters long-ish. Um, but I did not want to go too close because the fixture actually slightly overhangs onto the block. So it's 219 millimeters. Clicking Apply. I'm then going to get the origin point for this. Uh, sorry, the axis point for the uh, round there, and I'm going to match that to the axis point for my vehicle again. Clicking OK, and um, 
that's the two fixtures that I require. And effectively, at this point, you're ready to actually go into CAM um, and start creating a computer-aided manufacturing numerical code, or NC code. Oh, sorry, NC for numerical code, so we just call them NCs. Um, I'm going to save this video at this point and pause, and, and this is the stage you should be up to. So I'm making sure I've saved my file now. Thank you for watching. This was an Autodesk Inventor tutorial.